Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the book list and free resources that you must study from if you are preparing for TGT PGT examination. So guys, I know that there are so many books available in the market for the TGT PGT English exam that students are often confused about what to study and where to study from. Most of the students to whom I have talked, I found that they buy a lot of guidebooks and later they end up regretting that the books weren't helpful in their preparation. So in order to tackle the issue, I'm making this video wherein I'm going to talk about the proper book list that you should refer to if you are preparing for TGT PGT English. And I will also be sharing a lot of free resources which you can use to thoroughly prepare for this examination without investing a lot of money. So before I go on and talk about the proper book list, it is important to know all the other steps in the TGT PGT exam preparation. So just like when we travel, we pen down the list of places we will be exploring, make a proper itinerary, pack the important items as per our requirement, be it for mountains or for the beaches, and then finally set off for a destination. So just imagine when we follow a list of steps for a vacation, will we not need a list to prepare for such an important exam like TGT PGT. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about how you can clear TGT PGT exam in your first attempt and all the steps that you need to follow. Before you know where to study from, you must know what to study and how to study. So through this video, I'm going to take you through a three step process consisting of what to study, how to study and where to study from. And then I'm going to discuss in detail in step number three, the free resources that you can refer to if you are preparing for TGT PGT examination. So let's quickly take a look at the three step process that every aspirant should follow. Step number one is to know the syllabus, which will help you to know what to study. I've already made a detailed video on this topic and I've decoded TGT PGT English syllabus in that video wherein I talked about the syllabus, the paper pattern and what type of questions come in the exam paper. So please go and check out that video to know the first step that is what to study. After you know what to study, the next step is to know how to study. Guys, every aspirant has a copy of the syllabus, but only limited number of students clear this exam. The reason that separates the students who fail and those who pass is that those who pass know how to study. In most examination, it is only after going through the past year papers that you know how to study. For example, let me take the example of the poet William Wordsworth. There are about 30 poems by Wordsworth which are a part of the syllabus. But which poem needs to be studied in how much detail that can only be judged after going through the past year papers, right? If you are looking for past year papers of TGT PGT examination, then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided past 10 years paper of all different government institutions who are conducting TGT PGT exam free of cost on our website. You can simply go download the paper, get the answer key and start your preparation right away. When we made our online course for TGT PGT exam for students, we analyzed the past year papers, sorted the question based on different topics and then finally prepared video lectures covering all those topics to help the students save their time and energy. Hence, even if you are studying on your own, do make it a point to analyze the past year papers so that you know which works are to be dealt in greater detail while which are the works for which you just need to remember the title and the subtitle. There's a very famous saying that is very popular amongst the aspirants that don't try to memorize books and go to the question paper. Rather, do the question paper first and then memorize the books. It basically says that it is better to look at the type of questions asked in the exam first rather than mugging up the entire guidebook only to have later realized that you have memorized unnecessary topics or have skipped some important topics. So first analyze the question paper and then move to the guidebook or your reference book and other study material so that you only study those topics which are relevant from the exam point of view. There's a very famous saying which goes something like this, activity without direction is change. Activity with direction is progress. So if you embark upon any activity, but it is not in the right direction, there will be changes, but no progress. But if you make efforts in the right direction, you will see progress. Hence, you need to analyze the previous year papers and highlight those topics in your study material and study in the right direction. 
एंड वेन योर फ्रेंड सेज इसी बुक से सारे क्वेश्चन आएंगे ये बुक तो पक्का खरीदना प्लीज डोंट फॉल फॉर इट आपकी फ्रेंड पेपर सेट करने वाली की चाची नहीं है उसे नहीं पता कि क्वेश्चन कहाँ से आते हैं प्लस ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट देर इज नो बुक फ्रॉम विच ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट यू सी इन द पेपर कम फ्रॉम नो वन बुक इज गुड और बैड इट इज हाउ यू अप्रोच इट एंड हाउ यू डील विद द टॉपिक्स इन इट इज वॉट मेक्स द इंटायर डिफरेंस नाउ यू नो स्टेप वन विच इज वॉट टू स्टडी स्टेप टू विच इज हाउ टू स्टडी आई थिंक इट इज द राइट टाइम एंड आई इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो विच इज वेयर टू स्टडी फ्रॉम स्टेप नंबर थ्री In this particular section of the video, I'm going to talk about the book list that is going to be appropriate if you are preparing for any kind of TGT PGT examination, be it KBS, NBS, D Triple S B or any state TGT PGT exam. So, as you all know, that there are two sections in TGT PGT English exam. The first one is grammar, and the second one is literature. So, let us look at the topics of syllabus one by one and look at the appropriate books that you can refer to. Let us take up the first section that is grammar. The book which you should refer to for grammar is Wren and Martin. This book covers almost every topic you need to prepare for this particular exam. Hence you can easily highlight the topics from your syllabus in this book and start studying. Otherwise you can also use a general English book which is made for any competitive exam. The grammar syllabus guys in TGT PGT exam is very very basic just like you know it is asked in any other competitive exam so any book that talks about the general english grammar will work for section 1 preparation you don't need to be very very particular ki yahi book se padhna hai now we move on to section number 2 which is literature for your ease i have divided this section into four parts the first part is about writers and their works now this is a very very important section 50 to 60% questions are asked from this particular topic pick up any tgt pgt syllabus you will find that there is a list of important writers and their works what you need to do is study them from proper and authentic sources mostly students run after uh, an english guide book uh, prescribed for tgt pgt exam but i don't think those guide books help a lot because in some guide books you won't find the summaries while in others you won't find the important facts hence it is a fact that there is no one book that can provide you with end to end preparation and because of this reason we came up with an online video course for tgt pgt examination where we cover each and every topic end to end we are proud to announce that we are the only institute in india that teaches through animated videos our videos are designed using 3d graphics and animation which enhances the visual memory of the students so that they can retain complicated summaries of novels plays and poems easily and recall it effectively during the exam in our online course we provide you with topic wise video lessons with rich animations covering all topics in a step by step manner which works even when you've not done any previous preparation we also provide you with high quality pdfs and revision notes that cover syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt Along with video lectures and PDF we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that come with detailed explanation plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the all india leaderboard which will help you spot your weak and strong areas we cover all these important topics writers and works in our online course the detailed list of all the topics that we cover in the online course is available free of cost on our website arpitakarwa.com you can even download this free list and start preparing for the exams on your own but still if you want to study from a book there are two main sources which you can utilize there are online sources such as park notes lit charts great saver these are some amazing online website for english literature which you can use for reading detailed summary of important works such as towles dickens hard times Not only the detailed summaries you can also read important facts related to particular works for every important work you need to go through the biography of the author summary of the work characters along with themes symbols important quotations you also need to know various intertextual references if they are used in that particular work and most importantly you would also need a good command over the previous year papers where you might find some fact based questions which you would not have studied otherwise only after studying all these topics will you be able to understand 
all these authors and their works. Let me explain to you the importance of these things by giving you a very simple example of questions asked about Charles Dickens in TGT PGT examination. There was a question that mentioned three writers who complained about Charles Dickens that he is having a lack of psychological depth and sentimentalism. Now, who were these three authors? Was the question, and they were Oscar Wilde, Henry James, Virginia Woolf. Now, these three writers will become a part of your reference when you study Charles Dickens. Because when you are reading Charles Dickens, you can't just read Hard Times and its summary and feel that हाँ भाई मैंने तो topic खत्म कर दिया. Another question that popped up in the TGT PGT exam a few years ago was who curated the largest collection of Charles Dickens manuscripts and proofs. It was curated by a person called John Foster. So now they'll ask, what was the name of this particular collection? And the collection's name was Foster Collection. Hence, now you have to see how important it is not just to study Charles Dickens, but also to study John Foster. Another kind of question that came up in TGT PGT exam from Charles Dickens is the subtitle of Oliver Twist, which is Parish Boys Progress. And this subtitle alludes to a famous book by John Bunyan. If you know the name of the book, put that in the comments below. So this person was a writer who was writing around 1400s, and he wrote this very famous work, "Jaha se Charles Dickens ne inspire hoke Oliver Twist ka subtitle likha." Then there was another important question that came up, uh, which was about Charles Dickens' close friend who objected to the original ending of Charles Dickens' Great Expectation, where Estella remarries at the end. Whereas Pip remains single, so Dickens revised it into a more conventional ending where Pip and Estella remarry. The question was that who is that friend who inspires Charles Dickens to change the ending of Great Expectation? And the name of that friend was another great literary author, William Wilkie Collins. Then there was another question that came up in TGT PGT exam saying that there's a work by Charles Dickens which is a satire on the English judicial system. Which was that work, and the work was? Comment below, right now. So now, when you look at the kind of questions that I just shared with you, you will be surprised to see that only by studying Charles Dickens' biography and summaries of his work in superficial manner will not make you clear TGT PGT exam. You have to know all these important facts that are keep coming up in the paper. So as I discussed, you could either. Do your preparation from online sources that I just mentioned, or you can buy individual books for these writers. For example, if you have an individual play by William Shakespeare, let's say Hamlet, in your course, you can purchase an individual guidebook on Hamlet and study all the topics from that book, including character, sim uh, symbols, themes, important quotations, references, and other factual details. So you could choose either online websites that I just mentioned. Or individual books for your preparation. Another great way of studying this portion is by enrolling yourself in our online course, where I am going to provide you with end-to-end -end preparation. In our online course, we provide you all important details in form of video lectures, so that you are prepared thoroughly for the entire exam. Before we move ahead, I have a small message for each one of you out there. If you have any other questions or doubts about UGC Net Paper One, Paper Two, MA Entrance, PhD Entrance, PGT TGT. Or any other competitive exam related to English literature, then feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is flashed right on the screen. You can shoot a WhatsApp message on the number and regularly get important updates related to exam notifications, syllabus change, and much more. And if you are searching for free study material on various topics related to TGT PGT exam, then feel free to ping us on WhatsApp, and my team will more than happy to assist you. Now, after talking about writers and their works, the next important topic that you should be studying is the chronological history of English literature. Now, I would suggest you to refer to Routledge's History of English Literature or Edward Elbert's History of English Literature to cover this particular portion. But you don't need to read the entire book. You only have to read about the ages whose writers are a part of your course. For example. If your syllabus includes romantic writers like Wordsworth, Keats, Shelley, then you need to just study the Romantic age. But if your syllabus has no writers from postmodern age, then you can comfortably skip the postmodern age while you are reading the chronological history of English literature. 
Another example is the Anglo-Saxon and the Anglo-Roman period where no writer from this particular age is included in the entire TGT-PGT syllabus. Hence, you can comfortably skip these ages. Finally, now that we have discussed two important topics of literature, writers and their works and history of English literature, we come on to the last two topics, which is forms and literary devices. I've clubbed them into one. Like I told you in my previous video, poems can be of different types like epic, sonnet, odes. Similarly, there can be different types of novels like picaresque, epistolary. Similarly, there can be different types of dramas like kitchen sink drama, absurd drama, closet drama. So these are different forms of literature. Then there are different literary devices like metonymy, simile, metaphor, apostrophe. All these literary devices should be read by the student and to read these forms of literature and literary devices, the best book is M. H. Abraham's A Glossary of Literary Terms. It's a wonderful book, but the only problem is that this book contains so many literary devices and forms that you end up getting confused after reading just the first 15-20 pages. So you must know what to read and what to skip from this book and that you will only know after analyzing the previous year papers and the paper pattern. Only after that you will be able to use M. H. Abraham's A Glossary of Literary Terms to the best of your knowledge. So as promised, I have given you a detailed book list for all the topics ranging from grammar to all the topics of literature and I also have mentioned free resources that you can use in order to prepare for the exam. I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubt or if you want me to make video on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section below as well. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.